Hi everyone, I'm Gadis of Made by Mutiara and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, what I like to do is to share my favorite lettering tutorials as well as some watercolor tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I made this rainbow galaxy coffee cup using watercolor inks. All the materials that I'm using will be listed down in the description below, but feel free to use whatever you have at home, whether it's watercolor paint, watercolor ink, watercolor marker, if you have something that is water-based, you should still be able to make a rainbow galaxy for yourself. And if you're a beginner and you don't know how to draw in general, like me, don't worry because in this video, I'm also going to show you how I used a printed copy of the drawing and transfer it over to my watercolor paper. So stay tuned for that and without any more other announcements not with oh my goodness i'm so sorry i'm holding the microphone on my pencil case so don't mind it i'm so sorry let's go and paint this rainbow galaxy all right first things first google will be your best friend when you find images so once you find the one that you like you can print it out and use a pencil to go over the lines and once you're done with that, you flip it over your watercolor paper and make sure to tape it down so it doesn't move. And then with the pencil that you used earlier, just color in and the drawing should be transferred over. Ta-da! So if it's too faint, of course you can go over it again with a ruler so that you can see it much easier. So for any watercolour piece, the first thing you do is damp the paper first with clean water and then add the watercolour inks and blend as you go. So remember to wash the brush in between each colours and if there's too much liquid, always use a dry brush to mop it up. And the inks I'm using here are Windsor and Newton drawing inks and as you can see, they are very vibrant and they also dry very vibrantly. For the outlines, I use a smaller size 2 brush to add the black ink while the piece is still wet and then use the body of the brush to blend in the black parts gradually. And what you can see me doing here is adding some black branches because I still wanted it to look like a bit of a space galaxy with some uh, spacey black clouds. So this is just some artistic direction that I took which of course you can follow as well. Once it's completely dry, I will use a white pencil to sketch in the lines from the drawing earlier and also the quote I chose for this space which is I need to venti and yes, I use a stencil which is completely optional but I had this on hand and I really like the look of it so if you want to invest in a stencil, the link to them is down in the description below. And now for my favourite part of the tutorial which is to use bleed proof white. So just add a few drops of water and mix and you are ready to go. So for this part of the painting, I use a size 0 brush to draw in the lines as well as to write in the lettering. And as you can see, this is so nice and opaque. You only need one coat, you don't need to go over it again. It's very thick and that's why it's my favourite paint. Now once that is done, I will use a bigger brush to tap 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 and create some stars because this is supposed to be a galaxy piece. And what you can do is to vary the size of the stars by using either a smaller brush or a bigger brush. And once you are done, just dry it off with a heat gun or just leave it out to dry and you can admire your masterpiece. Alright, so I hope you found that tutorial useful. I really enjoy using watercolor inks because you saw how easy it was to blend. But of course, in a future tutorial, I will be showing you how to use watercolor markers instead. If you tried this tutorial, why don't you tag me on Instagram at madebymutiara so that I can see what pretty galaxies you made. And let me know down in the comments what tutorial you like to see next. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more lettering or watercolor tutorials. Watch some of my other videos if you have not seen them yet and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that was my chair creaking. Okay. But yeah, bye!